John Kelly in Nina and County Tip. And in the white collar here, we've got Lurga Gold, owned by Mr. Andrew Hopkins in Lurga in Charlestown in County Mayo, uh, won the Top of Curry member stake. Hunter's Paradise won the Nina and District member stake. And there goes the hair for the f first course of the first round, the Dunraven Arms Hotel Interclub Champion Working Member Stake. And away they go. The near side, Punter's Paradise. The far side, Lurga Gold in the white collar. Lurga Gold perhaps just up, but there's not a lot in it. Uh, Punter's Paradise, the near side, battling back. And perhaps it's a toe-to-toe -to -toe buckle on here. And Lurga Gold begins to assert as they near the turn. And Lurga Gold, Gold in the white collar will get that. Owned by Andrew Hopkins. Owned and trained by Andrew Hopkins in Charlestown in County Mayo. Between them in the red collar, Calour and Vieri for Donald Cooney, the winner at Tradery. And in the white collar, Ho John Ran. Owned by Joseph Reardon and Anne Taylor, uh, representing Dune. And Ho jo John Ran in the white collar here. Gets that turn by three or four lengths. Ho John Ran is owned by Joe Reardon and Ann Taylor in Cashel, Kilcullen I should say. This one uh, in Old Kilcullen. And um, in the white collar here we got Awesome Bell, owned by Tony O'Connor and Patrick Sutton in New Ross and Wexford. And Awesome Bell won at New Ross, the working members. And also won in Old Kilcullen, a three course duffer. Which eases them out and lets them go. Another very level start and Awesome Bell on the far side, perhaps up by about a half a length early doors. Best go now, running very well on the near side though. There's a buckle on here, the hair veers slightly over to the far side, the red collar the near side, the white collar the far side, perhaps just asserting, but it's only by about a neck. We'll leave that one to Tony Redden. Very tight course here. Once again, this hair working these greyhounds here at Greenmount this morning. Connections, I want to see the hair safely away quickly. The class and across to Max. Times for these two greyhounds in the first and the last round of the working member stake. Lurga Gold clocked 11.54. Ho John Ran clocked 11.29. And away they go in this semi-final on the far side, Ho John Ran on the near side, Lurga Gold. Ho John Ran though, asserting by about a half a length, Lurga Gold, close enough if it's good enough. But Ho John Ran zooms in on the hair, uh, the hair swings a little bit to the right, and perhaps makes this course a little bit tighter than it perhaps otherwise would be. Once again, they're well away from the escape here. White collar, Ho John Rand. Let me find the Dunraven Arms Hotel working member stake. Awesome Bell, owned by Tony O'Connor and Patrick Sutton in New Ross and Wexford. And trained at the Marwood Kennel in Woodlands in Enniscorty. Again, a few turns for Awesome Bell here. And Mrs. Ann Taylor in Limerick. Ann Taylor trains, representing Dune. And in the white collar here, we've got Awesome Bell, owned by Tony O'Connor and Patrick Sutton in New Ross in Wexford, and trained by Davy Morris in Enniscorty in County Wexford. Ho John Ran representing Dune, Awesome Bell representing New Ross. There goes the hair for the final of the Dunraven Arms Hotel Interclub Champion Working Member Stake. Richie eases them out and it's a beautiful beginning with a little bump between them shortly after leaving slips. The near side, Ho John Ran asserts they cross over the near side, Awesome Bell now. Ho John Ran is a uh, Catching the hair here and they're closing in. Ho John Ran, a late lunge from the white collared Awesome Bell, but it was too little, too late. The red collar there, Ho John Ran, for owned by Joseph Reardon and Ann Taylor, representing Dune, a son of world class and a cross to Max. Connections from the Cash Cashel and County Tipperary in this one.